Hello, welcome to Power BI on Cloud series from DoSQLBI.com. In this series of Power BI on Cloud, we started with an overview session. We went to our natural query language, also known as Q&A. We had a session on data management gateways and Power BI integration with big data. In this concluding session, we will go over Power BI integration with machine learning. In Power BI and machine learning, we'll take a look at the business scenario that we'll use for this session. We'll see an infrastructure overview and machine learning integration walkthrough. The business scenario that we'll use for this session's purpose is prediction of prospective buyers. Machine learning provides various integration points to integrate the machine learning models in your applications and overall it simplifies this whole process. What we'll be doing is we will upload customer profiles that we want to predict over using uh, machine learning models to blob storage on Azure. The other sources can be utilized as well. We can have our data in, in the database and a few other sources that are supported. Once we have the data in the, in the blob storage, in our in, in our this demonstration we will run the machine learning model using odata endpoint there are few other ways that machine learning supports to execute the models so in our case we'll be using excel via odata endpoint to trigger the execution of the model once the model is run and we will that model will be storing the results Again, back to the Azure blob, we do have options available to store them in other um, uh, targets, for example, database. And we will be using Excel to pick up those results that are produced by running the machine learning model over the customer profiles that we have first uploaded to the blob. Then the results also are stored back into the Azure blob. And finally, we will have a Power BI Power View report to see the results that are produced with that execution. Now let's take a look at the demo. Let's switch to Excel. So what you see is in Visual Studio that I am connected to the Azure uh, account and in that I have this blob storage with the name ML data where I have my customer profiles file in the CSV format uploaded. Now this customer profile file uh, contains the customer um, information like you know his name, age, uh, education level and then various other uh, profile details. We will be using this you know uh, as an input to the machine learning model. Let's take a quick look at the machine learning model uh, that we have. This is um, Azure uh, Machine Learning Studio. And in this, what, what you see here is we have this uh, model uh, which is named as predict buyer. This model, it reads the data. In our case, we have set it up to read the data from Azure Blob, which is that customer profile file. And then we have this trained model by buyer prediction, which was developed and um, and then the trained, uh, trained and subsequently the trained model component was used in this in this experiment. And then you see we uh, we read the file we consume the trained model and we score that model and then there are a few other steps which I would not go into details as you know this is not part of the scope of this series of uh, presentations and then we finally write the results back into the Azure blob. So this is a look of the model and uh, what we will be using is uh, we have published this model as an, um, um, as an API and this API will be using this documentation that provides uh, the endpoint that what would be the endpoint to to use this model. So in our case, we will be using this OData endpoint, obviously with the you know with the key that authenticates that um, that call. So let me copy this endpoint, and now I will switch to Excel. In Excel, what we do, we go under Power Query. Under Power Query from other sources one of the source that i have available here is from odata feed i will provide the endpoint of my api 
Now, once I give the OData endpoint, I have various way to provide the authentication details uh, that you see on the screen. In, in this case, I will go with the marketplace key that I have. I'll copy my API key, come back to the access uh, account key definition that I need to provide and say save. Now what it has done is it has created that connection. Now I'm double clicking on, on the score part and it's asking me for an, the parameter value. Say I just need to pass uh, any value. You know, I would not go into the details about how this model was set up and what's required as an input and output. But from the being able to <clears throat> utilize this model, we need to know what are the inputs and uh, what is the expected output it will produce. So we will we will name this as uh, run prediction model. Now what we could do is just go here and and uh, save this model uh, with close and load to we'll say only create connection and add this data to the data model which is an power pivot data model so we'll say load what you see is this run prediction model has just produced one row of data but essentially what it did is it would have produced the uh, the output file by consuming the input file which was the customer profiles we can validate that by going to the visual studio where i am connected to my azure blobs account if i refresh this i should be able to see this second file which is customer predictions now what we will do is we will later in this uh, uh, session consume this this output produced by the machine learning model and create a power view report to see the results so what we did so far is we created power query to run our prediction model via odata endpoint next we would want to create an azure uh, blob uh, connection so again under power query from other sources we have this from microsoft azure blob storage when we click on this it asks us to provide the azure storage account name which in our case is my big data storage and it's asking to provide the account key so i come to my azure uh, management portal select the storage where i have my uh, azure blob blob as in prediction results that i want to consume I'll go to access keys, copy my access key and come back to come back to Excel and paste this key. Say save. Now I get all the containers that are under that storage. I want to go into this ML data. I see here there are two files. The one that I want to consume is this customer predictions. So I'll click on the binary of this particular row. I see the results. I want to change the name of this query to prediction results again go to close and load to say only create a connection and add this data to data model now what this is going to do is take the results of that uh, prediction results file so we had about thousand customers data in that in in our customer profile so the output is also of those hundred thousand customers with the predictions that whether they are the potential buyers or not now what i could do is go to power pivot and see that what has been added so far to our power pivot model now what you see is we have this run prediction model which has just the you know sort of a flag which we passed as one two three it returned as one two three just uh, you know that is the way this model has been developed just to you know return this flag value and prediction results are you know where we have a total of thousand rows and you know it has at the end this um, prediction column added to it with the value one and two one being you know uh, interpreted as the user will not buy and the other value as uh, user will buy and then you know there's a prediction score also then how likely or unlikely it is uh, uh, scored that this particular customer is going to purchase a buy now with this result what we are going to do is we will uh, build the uh, power view report to uh, view these results 
we'll add couple calculations to our uh, power pivot model which is where we imported the data of production results just couple simple calculations uh, one is the row count of this uh, prediction results table as an aggregation here other one is this calculated column of buyer which is say if the prediction value the prediction this value is one then it is no and if it is other than that it is yes which is essentially based on this prediction score that we got from the machine learning model with this data model i have already put together a power view report which is this power view report there are various portions of this report on this top left we show the buyer across education we break the buyer behavior by education and we show the uh, line chart on that and then in in this top right one we show the buyer behavior of yes and no and show a pie chart of that is made up of married and single bottom left we show yes and no behavior by home owner character and then in the bottom right we show buyer behavior which is broken into the commute distance if anyone is interested to know more about building power pivot data models you can refer to one of my earlier presentations which goes in detail about building and refining of power pivot models however in this presentation what i want to show is we have these two power queries customer profiles file that currently this report is showing is having 500 records of various customers once we have all this in place it would be very easy to update and upload the data file of my new customers and then as simple as refreshing the model with will update these graphs let's take a quick look at that i replaced the earlier one file that i had used which was of 1000 records i changed it to 500 and then we see the data of uh, that particular file now just quickly i'm going to show you that i'll replace the file in my azure blob which will have 1000 customers profile details let me switch to visual studio and here i am going to first refresh to see what is already there i have customer profiles and the predictions i'm going to delete both of these files now once i delete them now what i will upload is the file which has 1000 rows the file got uploaded uploaded now i'll come back to my power pivot now what i'm going to do is just which is run prediction model i refresh this connection what this is going to do is use that o data endpoint to run our machine learning model and then that machine learning model would have consumed the file that was uploaded to the blob storage and then this second power query connection which is just going to pull down the prediction results file and update the power pivot model let me refresh it once again Now what I see is this is the latest file that was with what the power pivot model was refreshed which had 1000 records in it and then we see all our graphs and these numbers reflecting that and then we can do all different types of analysis on this you know it then becomes quite interesting say I have this one where the buyer selected value is no and I want to see how is uh, you know the married uh, breakup across some other parameters for example how how many married people are there that have not bought the bike and then you know similarly if i want to see the breakup of the married ones you know how many have bought how many have not bought and what is their um, commute distance pattern what are the educational levels you know i can then uh, slice and dice i mean i can just say here okay fine i want to select yes and then see see that behavior or i want to see how is the behavior of those who have bought it say yes and who are in the commute distance of 0 to 1 miles you know how many own the home how many don't own the home so all this slice and dice is possible based on this power view report that we have created out of the model of prediction results let's switch back to the presentation so in this uh, series of power bi on cloud this was our concluding session which covered power bi and machine learning so overall if i sum up we went to our uh, natural uh, query languages data management gateways power bi integration with big data and finally machine learning i'm nasrali mirza from dsqlbi.com thank you